The After Party starts right now. Join the conversation using hashtag AskDWTS. All right, guys, it is now time to welcome our panel to the show. And I'm going to start off by introducing uh, the young lady to my right. It is Jessica nice. Radloff, who is uh, the West Coast Entertainment Editor for Glamour Magazine. Thank you. Annie Barrett from Entertainment Weekly. Hi. And Yana Blanova, Ballroom Champion. Hello. Guys, thank you very much for being here tonight. Uh, this was a fun night because we had so much variety. We had variety in the dances. We had uh, variety in, uh, in you know, both the, the, the couples dances and the triples dances, and we're going to get a chance to talk about that in just a minute. But we're going to check in first, though, with Joanna, who is hanging out backstage on the press line talking to the stars. Joanna. Thanks, Mark. I'm here with Sean and Derek. Hey, guys. Hello. <laughs> I mean, seriously, how do you beat that trio dance? I don't know. I feel like this season's been kind of all like a how are we going to beat ourselves? Because we did the quick step, and that was fun. Then we did the mambo. Then we did the, I don't know. It's been, it's been like that. I don't know. We're just going to have to keep pushing hard if we make it through. And, Sean, like, how is this different from the first time you did Dancing with the Stars? Is, there, is it easier? Does it get tougher? No, I think it's completely, completely different. The first time around, I feel like I was really reserved. And, I mean, I feel like I'm still reserved. But I feel like I put a lot of inhibition aside. And it's a lot harder this no, time around. You're a woman. You're, <laughs> she's a full-fledged woman now and who is fierce. She's coming out. Yeah, can, I, can we see that sexy side of you one more time, that move you did? <laughs> Come on, don't be. Don't. Now, now, she's, 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 now I'm locked up. That's what happens. She's like, move your you can do it. Freeze. I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> she's like, no, you, you guys are not judging me, so I don't have to. All right, thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Back to you, Mark. Thank you very much, Joanna. Uh, of course, she was checking in with Sean and Derek, and a kind of a polarizing night for them because if you look at their scores from the judges, uh, their dance together, 29 and a half points. Their uh, dance where they incorporated Mark Ballas, 26 points. Polarizing tonight. Uh, what did you guys think of their, their samba? First of all, that is some hair on Sean. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I want to know how she got her hair I like that. I thought I was watching an episode of The Lion King. I know. Right? I think that's awesome. No, I, I loved it. I mean, I know it wasn't exactly what Len was saying, but it was so entertaining, right? I thought it was all samba, actually. It had a lot of rhythm. It had movement. It had a lot of samba action, rolls, zigzags, uh, bachucatas. I actually thought it had a great samba feel to it. Yeah, sometimes it seems like the judges just want to create a plot. You know, and this week they're going to say that, that there were no samba elements. I don't even know if that's true. And the, most viewers really have no way of knowing because we're not ballroom experts ourselves. Yeah, I so it see was, Little Mermaid next Yeah, week. but it was kind of hard to tell if we might get that, uh, you know, corporate synergy here. Yeah. Uh, it was kind of hard to tell if Lynn was judging that one as a Dancing with the Stars judge or a ballroom judge because he sounded very much like a ballroom judge. Yes, I think it was. he was trying to be more of a ballroom judge. But uh, I think that Derek was right. There's been so many sambas in the show. This was different. And this thousands. was thousands. He said thousands. thousands. Uh, yeah. And this was animalistic. It had a lot of samba elements in it. Uh, it had great feel to it. It was very earthy, very grounded. I loved it. Lots of crotch thrusting. Yes. Lots of that. I don't and think I, that's I feel uh, like, yeah, 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 a lot of plane tickets were bought to Africa tonight. People hopped online <laughs> I feel and bought like them. Like Mark during. loved Super all that tribal. makeup. <laughs> You know, like I just feel like Maybe Mark too much. Loved, he had the guy liner. He had the guy, but on. he loves that kind of thing, right? Fringed pants. Yeah. Who doesn't love fringed pants? But the the Especially I thought you know that kind people. of started off uh, the the night when we looked at uh, the group dances um, because we saw a lot of variety uh, with those dances. Uh, you know, overall, did you guys enjoy? The trios, or do you prefer the couple dances? No, I love the trios much more. They are, you know, the dances that they did in the beginning. I looked at Annie and I was like, is that it? Like, it was a minute long, and we mm -hmm. looked at each other like, wait a second, that is not, is that's tease. it? It was a yeah. mere tease of a dance. It was hard right. to know even how the judges would judge those dances because right. you saw so little in such right. a short period of time. So I, I preferred Len the trio. was right. Uh, it's so easy for, this, um, for the stars to get shouted by the professionals. So I think a lot of them did a great job that they did dance with both pros and mm -hmm. not just hiding behind them. So, especially the people who had to dance with someone of the same sex as them. Like Apollo danced with another male pro. Right. And that's taking a bigger risk and I think for him at least it did pay off. Well he made the argument that he was hoping that that uh, you know that would kind of raise his his game a little yeah. bit and it seemed like it did you know he was able to kind of mirror they were mirrored each other and it seemed it like they seemed pretty seamless. Yeah. yeah they did a big chest bump <laughs> a ballroom a, a real do that again. A yeah. ballroom yeah. Yeah. No, I yeah. I'm, not I'm sure you guys do that in competitions all the time just oh, good. of course but it has to be from the heart it has to be sincere uh, yeah. then everybody believes it. 
All right, let's uh, check back in with Joanna Krupa, who is hanging out uh, backstage on the press line talking to our stars. Joanna.